on a Friday. And this is the largest class I'm going to have all day today. Okay, absolutely the biggest class. And um, <coughs> um, let's do a couple examples to get you guys going on these. And I'll give you the rest of the time to, to work. So what we're doing today is we're using our properties to solve equations, and I think you'll pick this up pretty well. Okay, so if I go here, we'll start off, with, we'll just do um, like three or four. Log base 6 of x plus log base 6 of x minus 9 equals 2. For those of you listening at home, yeah, Rosa just totally interrupted me. She does not have a pencil. Um, okay, where was I? Okay, so what we have is on the left side I've got two different logs. Uh, on the right side I've just got a number, so I've got an exponent plus an exponent gives me a two. Um, what we have to do is we have to rewrite this in a single log. So the way we would do this, since this is addition, what should I do with the x and the x minus nine? Multiply, yeah, using our laws, uh, our properties of exponents, okay? So now since I've got a single log, I can go ahead and use the definition of a log to rewrite it as an equation without a log, okay? So what to the what equals what? And I'm good, okay? So now we've got a situation we can solve really quite nicely. x squared minus 9x plus 36. No, it should be minus 36, shouldn't it? Okay, that's 36, I move it over. Now we've just got to pick a way of factoring it. So we've got x, x. Um, let's see. Um, 12 and 3. Minus 12 plus 3. So x equals 12. x equals negative 3. Okay? So there we go. So we're just using a, pro uh, a uh, property, and then we're just rewriting as a log. Okay? So uh, hopefully we can all see that x equals negative 3 it won't work because it will give me a negative right here, which I can't have. So x equals 12 is my solution. Okay? So um, let's do, I've got two more I want to do. If I had 2 log base 7 of x equals log base 7 of 27 plus log base 7 of 3. Okay. Well, right side, log base 7 of what? 27 times 3, and that's 81. Okay. I don't know what the log base 7 of 81 is. I'm sure hopefully we can get out of this somehow. So on the right side, what can I do with the 2? Exponent, yeah, we'll pop it up top because it's an exponent times an exponent, and so that 2 is also an exponent. So now I can just rewrite it. I can say, wait, wait I got the same base, so these two must be the same. x squared equals 81, x equals plus or minus 9, and the negative won't work, so it's just positive. Now. So it's just using that, uh, that other property along with it. Okay? Last one. Okay, and 4 log base 2 of x minus log base 2 of 5 equals log base 2 of 125. Go, give it a shot.
maximum of the subtraction, we're going to have to rewrite that as a quotient. So I went and kicked that up to the exponent. On the next step, I saw a subtraction. So I'm like, we subtract exponents when we're dividing. And now I've got the single log base 2 of each side. So x to the 4th over 5 equals 125. Cross multiply, and I get x to the 4th equals 625. And x is equal to technically plus or minus 5, but the negative 5 won't work. Um, okay, that's not what we're going to look at this year, but yes, that is actually a case that that um, that I have seen pop up in my Excel senior math class, and um, and that's a, a a different monster. Okay, um, if it, I, I don't know, let's take a look. So this is not something you're going to ask to be used. Log base seven of x equals log base five of ten. Let's just say whatever that is. So what I can do is I can I can um, I can exponentiate each side. I think it's been a long time since I've done this. So seven log base seven of x equals seven raised to log base five of ten. These two cancel each other out. So I've got x equals seven raised to log base five of ten. Okay, and then this right here. I can figure out what the log base 5 of 10 is using my change of base. And I'll take 7 to that power. Okay. So, not a big deal. That's probably the next next level of log solving you'll see next week. Yeah. Back, to the problem we Back to the problem we just did. There you go. So, do you know how you divide by 5? Because that's. Okay, because of, because of subtraction. Okay. So what we've got is we've got a positive exponent and a negative exponent. Okay. okay. Negative exponents you can think of come from things that are down bottom. If it was addition, that'd be five x to the fourth. Yep. Okay. okay. So then you have the assignment that I gave you the other day, right? Or yesterday? So you're good to go.